It's the right hand button. Okay. Okay. Hello. This is my presentation exploring the immorality of art. Um, so my article is Art Never Dies by Sonny Rollins. Um, he wrote this article uh, called Art Never Dies. Um, I'll give it a quick summary so it's like you guys aren't lost during the presentation. Um, Rollins talks about the significance of art in comparison to the significance of politics and media. Um, he talks about how media and politics are constantly changing and in comparison to how art contains the same meaning behind its creation for several lifetimes. He also mentions jazz music, which he is a jazz musician, and how its past songs inspire new artists, how you are able to continue to create new pieces while still talking, taking inspo from past artists, which leads to my artist, Pablo Picasso. Um, many of you hopefully know who he is. Um, he's been a huge inspiration to many artists all over the world for many generations. Um, he's a Spanish artist and he was part of several movements such as Cubism, Modernism, Symbolism, and many more. Um, so this leads me to my first piece of art. I don't know how to say the name, so <laughs> um, This piece depicts the horror of the Spanish Civil War and its fragmented shapes and figures, um, dark colors and abstract, abstract imagery um, symbol, symbolize the pain of the Spanish Civil War. This piece is an example of Rollins' idea that one piece can maintain its power and meaning through several generations. Just as jazz music allows for diverse interpretations, art carries a timeless message with profound significance. My second piece, I also don't know how to say, but um, it was created in 1907. This piece, um, can you can see a departure from what is considered traditional um, art style. We can observe fragmented female figures which challenge what is considered normal. This piece actually goes against Rollins' idea because while this piece was abnormal when it was first created, its meaning has been reshaped and remolded to fit the normal ideals of modern society. My last piece is called The Weeping Woman. It was made in 1937. Um, this piece aligns with Rollins' view on the art significance, um, yet its abstract, fragmented style challenges traditional ideas and art's durability. This highlights the com the complex nature of its importance, which is discussed in the article, Art Navitas. Um, in conclusion, Rollins' powerful message about art and its ability to transcend the realms of politics and tech by spreading wisdom and knowledge is exemplified in artworks created by Pablo Picasso. After reading the article, Art Never Dies, it is evident that art truly stands the test of time. Thank you. All right, stay up there. <laughs> <laughs> nice try.